Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't forget hot dogs. Class ring order day here at Frankfurt High School is Wednesday, March the 6th, during the lunch periods in the Commons area. Stop by the main office to pick up a class ring information packet. Thank you. Happy, <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. One more day until Friday. We can do this. I'm Liz. And I'm Nolan. For lunch today, we'll be having Coney Dogs on lines one and two, spicy chicken on line three, quesadillas and pizza on line four, and line five is closed. Happy birthday goes out to Irene Bautista, Ashton Garrett, and Jakaya Pipitcher. And now to sports with Nick. Thanks. Official practices for softball will be beginning Monday, March 4th. Any girl wanting to play softball must be at practices beginning March 4th. Practices will run from 3.15 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Be prepared with clothing for colder outside practices and clothing for indoor if needed. Physicals must be on file with the athletic office prior to that time. There will be a mandatory parent-player meeting following practice on Monday in the Ox Gym at 5.30. All players must be present for the meeting, along with the parent. Coach Van Dyne has scheduled a meeting after school today for all boys who participate in basketball this year, including the freshman, JV, and varsity teams. At the meeting, you are expected to turn your equipment and any of the end-of-the-year items. That's it for sporting news from Frankfurt High School. But outside of high school, there are many stories within the world of sports. One of the biggest of the moment is the demise of the Los Angeles Lakers. Despite their season going south ever so quickly, they were able to get two wins yesterday. One, they actually beat the New Orleans Pelicans. But two, Anthony Davis, who requested a trade to the Lakers, is so clearly wanting to be a Laker, it isn't even funny. Look at this grin Anthony Davis did after LeBron hit a game-winning step-back three over Anthony Davis' own team. He is clearly thinking, that's my guy, and I can't wait to leave this team to go join up with LeBron. The Pelicans just can't catch a break, I guess. Anyways... That's it for sports. Now we're to Nolan and Liz with the news. Thanks, Nick. Freshman through juniors looking to get a head start on grabbing some scholarship money. There's a $500 scholarship for people looking to learn more about a specific art, academic, or career interest this summer. The scholarship can be used for camps, academic travel, or even private lessons. If this interests you at all, and it should, the application deadline is March 3rd, so you need to jump on this while you can to further your future, as it's never too early to get ahead. All you have to do to qualify for the scholarship is to be between 7th and 11th grade, so make sure to go to Guidance ASAP to get an application. And here is some good news that will make you smile. An 100-year-old World War II veteran, Joe Cuba, was posted on Facebook by the people at his retirement home. He asked for merely 100 birthday cards for his 100th birthday, but instead he ended up with thousands of cards and gifts that truly made his 100th birthday a special one, over 2,500 to be exact. And it doesn't stop there. People are still sending him cards and gifts every day. So if you want to send him stuff, the address is in the pictures and will be in the description below. Well, that's it for HDTV today. Make sure to tune back in tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe.